I'll, I'll, I guess I can just ask. Hey, Palmer, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, is Michael coming on before or after we do the package to Damon? Or Damon? After, I believe. After? Can right. I help you enjoy that Snickers? Happy peanut sore over chocolate covered mountaintops and waterfalls of caramel. Prancing nougat in the meadows sings a song of satisfaction. Sorry, I had to do that. I can't stand those commercials. <sighs> you ready to film? The The FDA has lifted the spinach warnings after an outbreak of E. coli forced grocers to halt the sale of the vegetable. Panicked consumers should be cautious of the possibility of contamination and are urged to discard the product. One consumer, however, was unable to read the warnings and will be sorely missed. The Colony reported on September 22nd the city of Milledgeville passed a new ordinance to allow speed bumps to be installed around the downtown area. The proposal is aimed at controlling the speed of cars around the area. The city decided to eliminate speed after the successful elimination of student parking noise and the new attempt to kick students out of housing around the area. There is a rise in a new kind of problem here at GCNSU. According to the Colonnade, more students are being cited for public urination. Apparently, the students have misread the campus map and mistakenly taken the area marked as front campus for front can piss. Here with more on the subject is BMP's own alliteration man. Magnificent montage, Mike, and looking lovely as usual, Lauren. Pee pee. It's beginning to become a burden, blitzing the beautiful backdrop of Baldwin County. Slightly sloshed students seem to secrete silent streams of stupidity along the carefully crafted quaint campus. Public safety seems to be citing some students, costing carefree campus goers caches of collected cash. Hopefully the terrible trickles of teenage TT take off, never to near the campus. Again, back to you guys. Alliteration man, you didn't add anything to that. You said the exact things that we did. But yours just sounded the same. That's all. How in holy high heavens, look, 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 hot look, look, homeland. Look. Hey, hey, just, just give, it a, give it a break, man. According to the Associated Press, the Bush administration will be allowed to continue its spying program without the use of warrants. Although some argue that the program oversteps the bound of civil liberties, Bush claims the program is necessary for the protection of America. 
A unanimous ruling from a three-judge panel of the 6th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals released a three-paragraph decision. Ah, who cares? In more important news, a new correspondent for BMP News, Damon Shaw, has some interesting information about one of our world's modern marvels. Let's take a look. Sidewalks, one of man's modern marvels. These long slabs of cement can stretch to the lengths of the world and back again. What is its purpose? Why do we need them? I took a little time to investigate the phenomenon. It seems that sidewalks are a primitive method of teleportation used by members of the human race, a pathway to other parts of the world. The origin of the sidewalk is believed to be traced back to the Roman Empire, hence the term Roman Roads. Some believe the sidewalk can be home to all who are knee-deep in poverty. It has also been known to be used as an outside urination facility and a great storage space for discarded garbage. My personal conspiracy theory is that the elongated pathways are a door to another dimension, a gate to another world. They are simply a barrier that separates us from fully understanding the secrets of the universe. What world lies beneath the sidewalks? Yeah. 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 Well, this is like meditating. Hey, Raph, where are you going? This mystery will continue to plague the minds of humans everywhere, and if you're on a sidewalk, then just remember that you're not the only one who has been on that sidewalk. For BMP News, I'm Damon Shaw. Some good news was recently reported in Routers London. New information from Britain's Medical Research Council has shown that breastfeeding has no impact on a child's intelligence. The new study shows that breastfeeding may help prevent respiratory illness as well as reducing infections. Breastfeeding may actually... Wait, why am I the one that has to do this story? Is it because I'm the only one with breasts? In other breast-related news, a plastic surgeon in Germany who was cheated out of payment for several breast enlargement surgeries has released the after-surgery photos of his patients in hopes the photos will help the authorities track down the women. The doctor, Michael Koenig, says he feels he was taken advantage of and cheated. Ironically, that is the same thing that all of the men who have dated the runaway women said when they learned that they weren't real. Well, Johnny Knoxville and company have done it again. The new movie Jackass 2 is hitting theaters and the movie has already grossed over $50 million, proving that Americans are in fact getting dumber. But here in the studio to give us a little glimpse of what the movie is all about is our new correspondent, Kristen Hall. Hi, I'm Kristen Hall, and this is the used tissue, already chew gum, thumbtack, cigarette butt, and ham sandwich. Here's the thumbtack. Already used tissue. Nasty cigarette butt. Used band-aid. And of course, the ham.